Hi, this is Jeff from the Advanced Pro Web Design and Business Network. Going to show you quickly today how to download and install my favorite WordPress theme, Divi. Let's get started. So before you can download and install the Elegant Themes website, the first thing you're going to have to do is uh, select a membership plan. And Divi gives you two options, which is their yearly access plan or their lifetime access plan. I'll get to that in a second. But where you need to go to find that page is you go to elegantthemes.com backslash join. And I'll just highlight it here. And if you can't see the URL bar or it's out of view for you, I'll zoom in a little bit closer here. So you're going to pick the plan that makes the most sense for you, and that'll likely be based on whether you're um, still experimenting uh, with Divi, if you only need a single website, or if you're not sure it's going to be more of a long-term thing. The yearly lifetime access plan is something that's definitely better for web developers or people that could be using multiple websites or know they're going to be using Divi, you know, years from now. I personally, as a web developer, have this plan. It is fantastic. You get access to full-time template support and everything else. I'm not a sponsored member or promoting this for any reason other than the fact that this is the uh, theme I use the most. But uh, regardless of which one you pick, you're going to click the sign up today button. Um, you'll fill out the details uh, in regards to your payment issue, your name, all that typical stuff. And uh, once you're ready and you're able to log in, we'll jump to the next step, which is as follows. Once you've successfully paid, you'll be sent a username and password that you can use to log in. And in my case, of course, I have a membership already, but all you need to do is go to the top button on the right where it says account. Uh, you're going to enter the username and password you were sent. If you want to click on the remember me button as well with the check mark, it's always helpful so you don't have to log into the elegant.com themes website each and every time you're uh, making a change or downloading a theme. So in my case, I'm just going to click the member login button here. So I recently just changed my password, so I guess I will have to enter it in again. Hopefully I remember the uh, correct one here. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. Perfect, and now we're taken to the members area screen. Now you'll be given two options in the members area. One is to download the entire Divi theme, which is what we'll be doing. Or you can just download the plugin yourself. If you want to use a different theme and just use the builder features for Divi, it does allow you to do that as well, which is pretty cool. But in our case, we want the entire theme so we can download and install it. So I'm going to click on download the Divi theme now. And in my case, I'm using Chrome, so the uh, download will go to your top right-hand corner here with a little arrow. Uh, once it's downloaded, we're going to see the little Divi folder here, and this is what I'm going to click on and download or pull into my folder before we upload it to WordPress. So in my case, I'm building a new website for a client called MR Hospitality, which I have stored on my C drive. So there's a folder there, wherever your folder may be, it could be the desktop, it could be somewhere else, you're going to have to find that first. So here's Mr. Hospitality here, or MR Hospitality, I'm going to click on that. I'm going to open it up, and then in the Chrome window where I have the downloaded folder here, I'm going to pull that over and put it into my folder. So in order to install the Divi theme, the first thing you're going to have to do is have a version of WordPress already installed. If you're not sure how to do that, that's going to be a separate tutorial at a different time, but there's definitely videos on that uh, on YouTube now if you're not sure how to install WordPress or going about that process. For now, I've installed one on my host web server called calgarywebdesign.ca slash hospitality. I'm going to go there and that's the default theme installed and I'm just going to log in under WP Admin and get to my WordPress backend. So I'm in the WordPress admin panel, which should look very similar to this, but if you're not sure what the default uh, theme looks like from the outside, I'm just going to copy and paste the link and I'm going to put it in here right now. And this is the regular WordPress theme most uh, default themes are. Yours may look a little different, but the only point is this is the default theme. Nothing's been done to it yet. This is what we're going to build off of after we add the Divi theme. So back to the WordPress admin panel, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to look for themes. Uh, it's just under appearance on the left hand side of your uh, WordPress admin panel, uh, right where the little paintbrush icon is here. So we're going to click on appearance, then we're going to click on themes. And right now these are all the themes that you can switch to and were automatically uh, installed when you installed the default theme. The default theme for me is the active 2023 theme which you have installed here. So if I wanted to switch from one theme to another this is the options I have available at the moment but of course we're going to install the Divi theme and that's the option we're going to go with. 
So in order to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the far right here. There's the option with the uh, plus icon here to add a new theme. I'm going to click on that. And you'll notice it will give you some other themes that are available too. So in our case, we're going to upload a theme. But if you ever in the future want to see what some of the other free options are, there's quite a few. And I'll just uh, scroll up and down just to show you a quick example of what those are. Uh, that's not relevant to us, of course, however. So we're going to click on Upload Theme. We're going to find where we downloaded that Divi theme in the folder that I showed you earlier. So I'm just going to go to my C drive first, or pardon me, the D drive in this case. So I'm going to find my folder again, wherever it is here. And then we go to uh, MR Hospitality. And we'll see the uh, zip folder here called Divi. I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to click Open. Now you'll see under Choose File, it'll show uh, the Divi slash 3 zip, which was the extension of the file I was trying to upload. So I'm just going to click on that, and I'm going to click Install Now. So this may take a little time to load, depending on the file size, depending on the type of computer you have. Uh So once installed, you're going to see the installing theme from uploaded file uh, message here, unpacking the package, installing the theme. If it was installed successfully, uh, well done and mission accomplished. So you can activate it here, but we're going to go back to themes first and I'm going to show you why in just a second. So we'll just go to appearance and themes a second time here. And you'll notice this time around that the Divi theme actually is here available to uh, switch to as well, which is the option we didn't have before. So if you're not seeing this and it didn't go through properly, uh, then that's a different situation and that's a troubleshooting step I can go over with you in a little bit. For now though, once if you have Divi, then we're ready to activate and then your theme has been successfully installed. Well done. So the only problem left could be, say you installed the theme but it freezes, it doesn't want to upload and you're unable to get to this stage. Well, are you stuck or what are the options you have if it doesn't uh, install properly through the method we just did? Uh, fortunately, there is a second way to do it. Uh, if this did not work for you, there's a way to manually install the theme in Divi as well. It's a little bit more technical. Um, I wouldn't say more difficult, but I'm going to show you how to do that in now in a program called cPanel. So we're going to move to that next. So you can also install any WordPress theme uh, via FTP or File Manager as well. Uh, in my case, I use cPanel, which will give me access to the File Manager, but the process would be very similar regardless of whether or not you're using an FTP, File Manager, whatever it is. So in my case, I'm going to go to File Manager here. And I do have a million websites online already because I work as a web developer, of course, but I'm going to find the folder I uploaded earlier and then I'm going to click on that which is hospitality here and here you'll see all the WordPress files actually installed so uh, this is all of them here on the back end you may be familiar with this you may not so where you actually install WordPress files is in the WP content folder here so I'm just gonna click on that and then of course you see the options here you're gonna click on the third one down under themes and you'll see since we installed Divi already, the way I showed you earlier, this uh, folder is here already. If it was not actually installed and we had to do it the manual way, all you would do is instead of the process we did uh, beforehand is just go to this upload folder here. You would drag and drop that same folder here into the uh, select a file button. Jumping back to our folders here, so if you had to install it manually, you wouldn't see the uh, open folder here, which means it's installed already with the other themes available. Uh, what you'd see in its place instead is this uh, zip folder here, along with this icon with the zipper. So in that case, all you need to do is, once you have that, you would click on that instead. Um, and just when I open up the file here, uh, what you would look for is extract. I'm just trying to find that here. Uh, obviously, since it's been extracted already, it doesn't give you that option. But all you would do is click the extract button. It would open the folder and then it would look like uh, what you see now when it's been successfully installed. And then when you went back into WordPress, you'd be, act be able to activate the theme the same way we did before. 
So hopefully you found that video helpful and informative. And if so, definitely remember to like or subscribe to our channel. It definitely helps us out in terms of getting more quality videos out to you guys just a little bit faster. If you have any questions about today's tutorial, definitely leave them in the comments below and I'm happy to answer them as soon as possible. Other than that, thanks for watching and we look forward to seeing you guys again soon.